Hello everyone. This video demonstrates how to use the Exposure Bundle as a plugin for Adobe Photoshop. The bundle provides the same creative tools in Photoshop as it does when it's used as a standalone photo editor. We encourage you to try it out as a complete raw photo editor. There are loads of great videos on our website that will help you get started. When you run the bundle installer, it will automatically install into Photoshop. After installation, launch Photoshop and open an image. Use the filter menu to launch a bundle plugin. When launching Exposure or SnapArt, first select the Exposure software menu and then select either app. When launching Blowup, select it from the list. With Exposure launched, begin applying effects by selecting a preset from the presets list on the left side. Exposure's library of carefully curated presets makes quick work of editing photos. Use them to apply an accurate reproduction of a classic, modern, or vintage film, or an entirely new creative look to photos. Hover over preset thumbnails to see how they will look when applied to the selected image. Click to apply it. Exposure's presets are great on their own and they are useful as starting points for custom looks. Easily make adjustments to images with the powerful editing tools in the right-hand dock. The basic panel, for example, provides automatic controls to adjust exposure, contrast, and saturation. When complete, apply the effect and return to Photoshop. A new layer will be created with an edited version of the image. The opacity of this new layer can easily be changed to blend it with the original. Our tutorial library has videos covering tons of topics in photo editing, from color grading to portrait touch-up, and many more. They are also a great place to learn about how to use Exposure. Visit our website, exposure.software, and check them out. For another non-destructive option, Exposure works with Photoshop's Smart Layers. After applying an effect, simply double-click the Smart Layer to launch Exposure and adjust the look. To apply natural media looks like oil paint and watercolor, launch SnapArt from Photoshop's Filter menu, then the Exposure Software menu. A list of natural media types appears in the Presets panel. Open the Effects Tour folder for a quick preview of each of the 11 categories. When you see an effect you like, click on the Preview thumbnail to apply it to your image. To enlarge the Preview thumbnails, collapse the Editing panel and expand the Presets panel. This makes it easy to scroll through large previews of all of the different natural media looks. Select the Preview thumbnail to apply it. Refine the effect with the Editing panels on the right dock. We suggest starting with the controls at the top of the panel and working your way down. To confirm any edits and return to Photoshop, click Apply. Use SnapArt again on the original layer to experiment with a different effect. SnapArt also works on Photoshop's Smart Layers, which allow you to update effects by double-clicking the Smart Layer to relaunch the app and adjust the look. To access Blowup's image enlargement tools, select it from Photoshop's Filter menu or from the File Automate menu. To the left is the Thumbnail Navigator image and the User Settings panel. In the center are Zooming and Panning controls. On the right side are the Adjustment tools. These include a button for each resizing mode, Crop and Resize, Resize, and Stretch. Crop and Resize is especially useful because it crops your image to proportionately fill the output. It places the crop area over the most interesting part of your image, but you can fine-tune the location easily. Resize mode resizes your image while retaining its original proportions, without cropping or stretching. Stretch mode forces your image to fit the output size. This is best used when your output size and photo size are almost identical. After you've picked your mode, choose your document size. You can make refinements like adding grain and sharpening your image for output, which compensates for ink diffusion on paper. 
Blow up is intended for processing finished images, so it will enlarge each of the layers in the image separately. You can have blow up make a copy of the image before resizing in the Preferences panel. Simply mark the Duplicate Before Resizing option. Thanks for watching our quick introduction to using the Exposure Bundle as plugins with Photoshop. Visit our website for more editing tutorials and additional information about exposure. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube for updates about our latest video content.